is Bite Size Thursday here again at Off Slate Studios, and we are watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Hooray! Woohoo! We are on book two, episode 10 of fan favorite, if you will, The Library. That's right. Having um, fun? Is it hard when you've got yeah, a library, library card? card? And we're going to take a left turn onto Arthur as well. Great show. Yeah, Avatar. We're, yeah, we're going to have a uh, hoot of a time watching this one. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, Dickie's because... out here winging it. <laughs> <laughs> because honestly, I love this episode, but the most important the most thing that stands out to me is the owl. Owl spooky. The owl is kind of spooky. Probably because he's that he's, big. Because his neck comes out and goes around. Yeah. Kind of like the one guy in Street Fighter. Only not his neck, it's his arms. The old guy. Oh. Cool. See, he's not an old guy when the one with the one I'm familiar with. Oh, but that I was, was talking like, about that the was, new one. That was like Street Fighter 2. Oh, I think 6 just came out. Yeah. As of yeah, recording so this, yeah. Out. You were saying. What, do you think they're going to come out with 7? <gasps> That's a good number to follow. Six come before seven, Dick. Yeah, but did you know that's seven, eight, nine? I'll bet. He didn't start. <laughs> he didn't start with the first half of that joke. Yeah, the, I don't know. The I joke think he, is. I think anyway. if he told the whole joke, it still wouldn't be funny. <laughs> Thank you. I think my jokes are hilarious. Is it worse I than? <laughs> I don't even remember. Keep it. going, Dick. I was gonna say it is. My jokes are just like this episode of Avatar. Fantastic. Ah, <laughs> that, that's the funniest joke he's told all night. <laughs> and I can't wait to watch the episode. Do you have anything else you guys want to talk about the episode before we just get right Is into this? Is this the most you've ever spent in a library? I like libraries. I know. I'm just wondering. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, the, the last time I was in a library, I was, uh, our, our city puts on like a little like, um, a scavenger hunt. For like the winter months, call it like the, there's a World of Winter thing, and there's a scavenger. Wow, that's World of Warcraft. Oh. Regardless, there's a little scavenger hunt, and we took it through the city's library. What I was know? seriously wondering if he was talking about something he did in high school, and then I was gonna say no. something about Dicky. Did you get all the way through college and graduate without having to go to a library? I once? definitely went to a library at least twice. Well, college. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you went to Western, you'd go to the library all the time. That's a bar. Oh, there you go. I mean, also he did graduate with a film degree, so bachelor's of science, though. Ha! -ha I'm bachelor of arts. I'm more pretentious than you. But I took uh, stats, so I t so I got science. Anyway, <laughs> I took stats too. I just am pretentious. Fair enough. On a completely the right note to be back on, let's watch Avatar: The Last Airbender. <laughs> Woo! This Let's. is like a pivotal episode for... I'm sorry, he was doing that. This is like a pivotal episode for the whole series, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> kind of. It's, it's, yeah, it's it kind of sets thing. up the, the changes everything. Yeah. Take a bite. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. And ladies and gentlemen, we just watched The Library episode 10. Yes, yes. of the season. Ten. And it makes sense that this feels like a halfway point. Like, it feels like a mile marker. Mm. Like, you hit this episode but, and... But they definitely showed it as a TV movie-esque sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, I feel like the desert and this were lumped together. I do feel like I remember seeing both of those back-to-back -back usually. It gets really weird when you get to the finale of the series and, they sh and you watch it in four separate parts. But you're like, this wasn't four separate parts. It was a two-hour movie. Like, yeah, it was just a whole movie. Yeah, but, oh God, yeah, this, this really does... it. It finally paints a way that they can win. Because, like, up to this point, like, Aang was freaked out and stressed out about learning everything and still having to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with I mean, Ozai. I still think he is. Oh, well, he's definitely still freaked out about it, but at least now they're just like, oh, I we, think, can use the, we can use the... Um, yeah, I think it's better to say that now please. there's at least hope for Sokka. I don't think Sokka up to this point found much hope in Aang. I think this gave him more hope. I can see that. That makes sense. I did appreciate that it was Sokka's idea to go find out. Yeah. When it's his. Because, like, 
all of them were okay with just leaving after they knew when it was, but he had actually was smart enough to be like, no, we got to figure out what the next one is. Cause this, like this was a strong leadership move by him. Yeah. I, I just read, uh, they aired as a two part 44 minute special called the fury of Aang. I don't remember Checks. that. But I don't either, but that's what it says on here. That makes sense, because uh, after the Alpha goes missing, he's uh, not... That is one of the uh, most visceral scenes It sticks out in my head. This is for next week's episode, where he gets mad and just hits the desert, and it's... Ah, boom, and it's, it's a big explosion of dust. Mm-hmm. I think, I know, that's next episode, but just... He get, he goes... You, you, we, we can see why, of course, but... It, Goes hard on Toph. Would you say that because he he's taking his out his frustration? Because it's not Toph's fault. Toph mm-hmm. had to choose. No, but that's I an d- impossible choice, and I love the way that they set that I, up. I definitely see this episode as a series of unfortunate choices that I think could have been avoidable. I think, I mean, obviously not for storytelling purposes, but like in real life, I don't think that would have had to happen that way. Oh, yeah, in real life that we have airbenders and... Hey, man, you want to say the Mario movie is on par with the (laughs) Spider-Verse movie? I can compare Avatar to real life. Touche. Touche. Fair enough. But I would say that was a good point. I, 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 I just love the absolute struggle and just the whole situation that Toph was put in. Because, like, like, how do you... What do you do to well, win? Well, one, she can't like, see clearly. Yep. Yeah. Well, and I, and I like that she even pointed that out earlier in the episode was because of the sand, she feels all fuzzy. And that was a, that's another really smart thing to make sure to say that because we know that she's, like, super... What's, what's um, super interesting is that generally Appa's able to defend himself better than he did here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I wonder if it's but just because I, I also understand that it's necessary for the storytelling portion of it. This episode also kicks off. I remember watching it when it aired. What felt like the longest arc in this show. Because the show is genuinely missing something without Appa. Yeah. I, I won't say it takes a hit in quality, but there's genuinely something missing. Yeah, it's well, at least six episodes without him. It's that, that long. It feels longer when you're watching it week to week, though. Yeah, that's fair. That's I didn't know. And there was a gap. I think after the desert, I think the serpents pass. I thought was September, so they had like a month off. So that's that can that that adds into it. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest. I could not because I, I I wasn't watching it in real time when it aired. I think I th- could not imagine the amount of stress that I would have been under. I was I, like, I was I. So. Book two is kind of where I started getting into this, like, watching it week to week sort of thing. I did watch it a little bit, but I wasn't, like, I hadn't seen all of the episodes. Mm -hmm. Then my friend had bought, like, the season. You remember the old big season boxes and stuff? Um, So this is where I started, like, watching it week to week. I did not like it because it took so long for them to get Appa back. And my high school brain... Or I guess my early, early college brain um, didn't appreciate what Alpha's absence did for the show, I guess. Yeah. You would have been in college. Seven. Six. You would have been about 19, turning 20 at the end of the year. Yeah. So you were in college. Yeah. Barely. Yeah. Not, yeah. Not Alpha being there, really. Yeah, this is about uh, somewhere in here. I actually think we had uh, somewhere in here when I, I had missed chunks of it because I don't. I think I saw the library in the desert and then saw the drill and then didn't see anything till the finale, <laughs> <laughs> except for Tales of Bossing Say. So wait, I, so I just I jumped keep, around. The, the drill doesn't have Appa in it, does it? Nope. No. Oh wow! That's why they have to take the serpent's pass because they don't have Appa. Oh, interest! I forgot. I forgot like they can't that. just fly over, it is what I'm saying. I, I feel like they right. made a choice to go that way for some reason, but we'll get there in a couple of weeks. But, but yeah, the Toph yeah. should have told Appa to just run. Where or something away? Fly? Yeah, I mean, the, yeah. yeah. The he sand. should. I mean, but again, it's. 
I know if you, you said what you're saying it, it has to happen story wise, but yeah, I mean, I again, I, I get it. It makes sense. It just is frustrating when could've. you watch it as an adult and say, "You could have done this, this, that." Do you think the here. sand like was no. any reason to inhibit him by for any reasons? They didn't really use sand to take him down. You know, they use rope. ropes. Oh, that's true. And they weigh. They like anchored themselves they straight with up, the sand. They straight up hawked him. Yep. Yeah, they did. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. Like it's not. It, it's like a lot happens, but it doesn't feel like it. It felt shorter for some reason than I remember, but maybe because it's a two-part episode, so like the rest of the story You're is expecting. then in the next episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one really was about discovering the library, which I. I always think it's a, it's just a cool design. It's like we yeah, it's we like, come back across that scholar guy. I'm not sure if it's do? here no. or in Cora. I don't really? remember. There's a reference to him, and it's a skeleton of him. I can't remember oh, if I it's that ring a bell. It might have been a Cora thing. I probably a Cora thing. Yeah. I... I don't remember. I just, I called out while we were watching. like, oh, yeah, Sokka's putting all the stuff in his bag. It's not an important thing. But I, I remember I said a couple weeks ago, it's like, why do I not remember him having that bag? But then it, there he is with his bag, sh- stealing stuff. He's taking as much as he possibly could. Well, so. he really was the almost, I mean, he really was like the MVP this episode. Like, No, Sokka. Appa was the F- MVP. Rest in peace, Appa. He's not dead. I know, but it's sad. He might as well be. Aang doesn't know that. I wonder if he tastes good, though. Ah! Mm, a flying I mean, I, bison burger. Mm. I mean, I've had a bison burger before. Is it good? It's kind of dry. Mm. You, gotta you, know where I, you know where I had it? There's like the Dixie Saloon in Mackinac. Oh. Yeah, but a flying bison burger. It's on a string, and you have to eat it as it spins. <laughs> It just flies right past you. You just gotta go. Ah! And every bite you hear. Ah! No, no, no. They do it like that meme where they, where they uh, tie a water bottle to a fan. <laughs> yeah, there just, you go. Um. An Appa flew around my room. <laughs> poor Appa. Yeah, poor Appa. Yeah, good show. Um, it ended. I was like, I want to keep going. I want to keep going right now. But yep. No, we got we got next week for that. Yes. But is there anything else you want to mention this week? Uh, it's no, been just, just, a great just the eclipse just, is the big thing. Yeah. Figuring it out. It is amazing how much emotion Top shows in her eyes, given that she's blind. That's true. And she makes some great jokes in this episode. Yeah. <laughs> there it is! <laughs> there, she, there it is. There, 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 there. Oh, yeah, like, As a what, person with a disability, I relate to those jokes. <laughs> I relate not to those a, what jokes is it like? I'm stupid. Not a, uh, books don't I do much for that. me. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? Books don't do much for me. Yeah. yeah like, <laughs> let me know if there's something you can listen to. The yeah, the blind jokes really were they were fantastic. They were great. Great character. Like she's only been in the show for. It's only her fourth episode. And she's already <laughs> and she slid in right so, into yeah, it mm-hmm. real easily. And like it's not just a one note character where she could just be the character you see in bitter work the whole time completely different side of her in this because she genuinely feels bad do you think they had to mm-hmm. speed up her character development at all just to catch up with the rest of them i, mean, I wonder yeah but that's just kind of because if you think about it his next teacher is zuko right well zuko's been in yeah. the entire show and we've been seeing his character development toff gets this far and we've only had her three episodes she is pretty sure of herself, though, already. It doesn't mean that she doesn't develop as a character. I know, but I just I don't think as much needs to happen in the story, especially when she's not the center of it. That's probably fair. That's why I think it is. I think she's much. she knows who she is more than the we, other characters know who they are. We haven't even gotten to the bits where they try to come and take her back. Yeah, yeah, which really is only near the end of the season, right? I thought it started next episode, but I, I can't remember. remember. When that starts back up again. With the boulder, right? The boulder. The boulder. The boulder goes you know, back into... I am shocked you didn't make any boulder references last week when they were trying to move a boulder. 
Oh, I really, I dropped the, I dropped the rock on that one. Gosh. You certainly couldn't move it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, on that note, I, this was a great episode. This is another. You can say it's a milestone. Milestone. Just end the episode. Let's rock on out of here. Jared, Jared hurry. Hurry, <laughs> hurry <laughs> quick. Quick, uh, quick. Before we pe- bury someone six feet under, <laughs> I, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and the funny TikTok. We'll film us burying Dickie alive. <laughs> <laughs> then you can listen to us on Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and hey, on YouTube, like and subscribe and comment and ring our bell on all those other uh, things you can rate and comment <laughs> and then check out our groovy website uh dickie will no longer be running it once we bury him but i think it looks pretty cool i can't remember the last time i was on it probably last year oh stop being so <laughs> quakey <laughs> what like, like crazy but like quake like an earthquake quakey anyway end the episode that might be the worst <laughs> joke you've ever told in your life because I thought you were trying to mean, like, flaky, which doesn't even work either. But then it was worse when you are trying to be cra- quaky and crazy. What is this? <laughs> what is life? I, I, that's not even a stretch. That's like, that's like doing the full splits without stretching. Like, what, what is this? <laughs> that's all I got. That's all you've got? <laughs> Thank you for listening to today's episode. That was the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Heard, sorry. Just Don't heard. forget to get quakey, y'all. <laughs> quakey. That's the best you can do. Don't be a quakey person and tune in to next week's episode and every week after that. So for all of us here at Off Slate Media, if you want to hear us talk about Avatar The Last Airbender. Or make terrible, terrible, <laughs> not even jokes, just random sentences that he doesn't know how he's going to end them. <laughs> Don't forget every Thursday, too. Take a bite. <laughs> <laughs>